Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, to talk about a little bit of a conundrum for a lot of people, a thing that they don't understand, a confusing topic, it, the velocity factor when it comes to antennas and transmission lines. What is meant by the term velocity factor? Well, you might also call it speed factor. Seems like that would make more sense to me because, um, well, whatever. <laughs> it's a, What it is, is the percentage of the speed of light that a radio wave travels along a wire or a transmission line. Now, normally in space, in free space, meaning air or a vacuum, particularly in the vacuum of outer space, radio waves and all electromagnetic waves will travel at the so-called speed of light C, which is about 300,000 kilometers per second, or 3 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. You may also remember that as 186,000 miles an hour. Actually, I think the a much more accurate figure for this is about 299,792. But for all intents and purposes, in our calculations, we can call it 300,000 kilometers per second. Now, that's in free space. But when you have a transmission line, for example, ladder line, coaxial cable, even a single wire, if you have some kind of a medium other than free space, a wire, a ladder line, a coaxial cable line, the electromagnetic waves are not going to travel as fast down these media as they do in free space. Now you may find that a little bit puzzling, but it's kind of like the same effect that you get with visible light in various refractive media such as glass, quartz, other transparent substances. Mater uh, in those materials, light travels more slowly than it does in free space. And the same is true with radio waves along things like a single wire, a ladder line, or coaxial cable. Now, velocity factors typically range around 0 0.95 or 95% for a plain wire like that. So if you have 300,000 kilometers per second, 300,000 times 0.95, along that wire it's only going to travel at about 285,000 kilometers per second. A parallel wire or ladder line open wire line like this might have a velocity factor of 0.90. Now this is just a ballpark figure. It can vary somewhat. Window line is going to be a little slower, a little less than 0.90 maybe. TV ribbon is about 0.80. But a really well made open wire line about 0.90. So your radio wave will go at Pardon me, let's try that again. 300,000 times 0.9 gives us 270,000 kilometers per second. And in a coaxial cable with a polyethylene dielectric, in a foamed polyethylene dielectric, you might see about 0 0.80 velocity factor, about 80 percent. 
or well i i think maybe it, it it's closer to um closer to 70 percent i was thinking of tv ribbon there if it's a solid polyethylene dielectric it might be as small as 0.65 or 66 but let's just go with 0 0.70 because most people these days are going to use foamed polyethylene coaxial cable when you when you have that stuff the radio waves along it will travel at 300,000 times 0.7 or 210,000 uh, kilometers per second. So that is what is meant by velocity factor. You may see them quoted as uh, numbers that are a fraction like that. You may see them quoted as a percentage. But whenever you manufacture or, or put together an antenna, or a transmission line system that needs a specific length of line, you must take the velocity factor into account. There are certain exceptions with transmission lines in very specific, unusual applications, but for most uh, situations, you need to take that into account when you are cutting an antenna to length. That is why. Uh, that is where the formula, by the way, for a dipole comes from. Uh, you may remember the formula for a dipole antenna. The length of a dipole antenna. Suppose, for example, we go to, oh, we want to make it for exactly 3.5 megahertz. Exactly. Then we generally will use a formula. I use 467. Some people would use 468. I guess I, uh, the thing doesn't want to. 467 divided by 3.5. What do we get for that? Now that's the end to end length of a dipole antenna. 467 divided by 3.5. 133 and a half feet, 133.4 feet. This is for cutting an antenna to a length in feet. That is for a half wave dipole antenna. However, that takes into account the velocity factor of the wire. If it weren't for that velocity factor, if the radio wave actually moved at the speed of light along the wire, that formula would be 492 over 3.5. Just out of curiosity, I wonder that 467 number, what is 467 divided by 492? 94.9% or about 95% is the assumed velocity factor of the wire in a dipole up there in in the clear uh, from obstructions etc etc so that's a little bit of a tutorial about what is meant by velocity factor and always remember now it is symbolized as a lowercase italicized letter v generally speaking for all for as a mathematical variable lowercase v so you might see v equals 95% for the wire in a dipole. If you have a solid polyethylene di uh, a coaxial line, you might see V equals 0.66. So when you're looking at the specifications for cable and transmission lines, that's what that little V means if, you, if it doesn't tell you anything more than that. Stan Jibalisco signing off for now. Till next time, 73 and so long.